everybody so we are going to start our new series in which we will be talking about ophthalmology ospi and this is our first video um i'll be talking about um so many tricks to ace the ospi and actually top the ospi um so um the ophthalmology ospi is based on pictures the examiner shows you a picture and then they ask you to diagnose a picture so many people make a huge blunder over here they tell the diagnosis directly so the most important thing to get full marks in your ophthalmology viva don't just tell the diagnosis define the picture first okay define the picture first Okay, so if I show you this picture, you know that, what is the diagnosis? You know that, right? This is Clazion, everyone knows now. Um, but I'm not asking you to tell me diagnosis. I'm asking you to define the picture, okay? If the examiner asks you to uh, tell the diagnosis, don't just tell the diagnosis, first try to define the picture. Let's define this picture. Okay, so this is a colored photograph of left eye, okay? This is a colored photograph of left eye and there is a nodule on the upper eyelid. Can you see this nodule over here? So the nodule is present on the upper eyelid and nodule is classically away from the lid margin. Okay, why did I say that, that it, it's away from the lid margin? Once a second. Okay. If this nodule was here, okay, if this module was over here exactly on the lid margin then your diagnosis will be sty okay then your diagnosis will be sty and this is a differentiating feature between collision and sty in in collision the um the lesion is the nodule is on the lid surface okay not entirely on the lid margin so please understand this this is a very important thing okay so the uh, nodule is away from the eyelid margin that that means uh, it is on uh, the surface and it doesn't have any kind of infective agent it means it doesn't have any kind of um infection okay okay so i mean by that i don't see any kind of pus over here right you don't see any kind of mucopurian discharge in all of the lesion okay but in sty, you have the mucopurin discharge within the lesion. Obviously, lesion will be here, somewhat here on the margin, somewhat here on the margin. And you will actually see um, abscess. You will actually see mucopurin discharge or pussy discharge within the um, lesion. Okay, you will see pus in the lesion. And then, while defining, next thing you will say, that I see inflammatory factor over here because the hyperemia is present around the lesion or within the lesion. Okay, so let's just read the text together. So this is a colored photograph of left eye. There is nodule on upper eyelid and the nodule is classically away from the margin. There's no infective factor and there's no inflam there, there, sorry, there is inflammation, okay? There is inflammation because there is hyperemia. Okay, so then they will ask you, what are your differential diagnoses? Okay, then you will tell Clasion on top of the list. Okay, this is Clasion. Then you will say Hordeolum internum. Hordeolum internum is the infection of mebomian gland. Okay, it can be Hordeolum internum as well. It can be sarcoidosis granuloma. Okay. Fungal granuloma, foreign body granuloma, cutaneous tuberculosis, in which gran again granuloma is formed. Then, whenever you f uh, see a mass on the um, upper eyelid, don't forget to mention adenoma and carcinoma. Okay, there will be sebaceous gland adenoma and sebaceous gland carcinoma. Okay, so I would like to explain you uh, the pathophysiology of Clasion. They can ask you that as well. Okay, suppose this is your mebomian gland and this is the duct of mebomian gland. Okay, and you have mebomian gland ducts opened into your lid margin. Not on lash follicle, just behind the lash follicle on the lid margin. Okay, suppose these are opened on the lid margin. Okay, like this. So if you have any kind of blockade in the 
duct, whether here, whether here, at any level. If the duct is blocked by any sort of debris, any kind of thing, whatever the reason is, the duct is blocked. Main thing is duct is blocked. When the duct is blocked, your lipid, uh, your lipid uh, secretions will not be able to go out of the gland. Instead, they will be accumulated within the gland, right? And when they are accumulated within the gland, obviously the, these are lipid, lipid secretions. The meibomian gland is producing the topmost layer of your tear film, that is lipid layer, right? That consists of lipid. Okay, so when the lipid secretions are accumulated within the gland, your immune system generates chronic granulomatous inflammation around this gland this meibomian gland. So these are obviously your epithelioid cells which are classically seen in your granulomatous inflammation, right? You know that already. And then you will also find some giant cells. Giant cells are so many macrophages merged together. Okay, you will also find these. And then at the site of granulomatous inflammation, you also have some lymphocytes present. So this is the main pathophysiology of the Collision. You have blockade in the duct, the substances, the lipid, the lipid secretions of the gland are being built up in the gland and uh, to which your, your immune system is uh, generating granulomatous inflammation. Okay, so what is collision? It is chronic sterile lipogranuloma of meibomian gland. Obviously, this is a chronic condition. This is a chronic granulomatous inflammation. So this is chronic now lipogranuloma lipogranuloma is this is granuloma right you know very well granuloma is something in which macrophages epithelioid cells are surrounding in this fashion and you have giant cells and mac uh, and lymphocytes so but in this case you have your lipid secretions in between if i say caseous um granuloma then you will have caseous necrosis in between this granuloma but here this is lipogranuloma and you have lipid secretions between in middle of these um in the center of these epithelial white cells in center of this granuloma so i hope you understood this concept so a uh, clasion is chronic sterile lipogranuloma of meibomian gland of meibomian this is important. Now, what are the treatment options we have? We have conservative treatment options in which we ask the patient to apply compression and expression. But this kind of uh, treatment, op this kind of treatment option helps us in recent lesions only. Then we ask the patient to apply warm compresses. Then we give topical steroids to reduce inflammation. Obviously, this is this is. This is chronic granulomatous inflammation, and we do not want our leukocytes to uh, generate this granulomatous inflammation around our meibomian gland. Then we give some topical anti-inflammatory drugs, and we give some topical antibiotics to prevent superadded infections. Okay. Then we have some medical treatment um, in which we like to uh, give corticosteroid injection. Okay. Classically, try amsinolone acetonide, okay, in 0 .0, 0 0.1 to 0 0.2 ml. Okay, so what is the procedure of injecting this try amsinolone acetonide? Suppose this is the eyelid, okay, and this is closed, and you have your ecclesion over here. Don't give injection on the skin. First, evert the eyelid. First, evert the eyelid, okay, and see the conjunctiva, your palpebral conjunctiva, and you have lesion over here, okay. Now, inject the triamcinolone acetonide in the lesion from conjunctival side. This is very important, guys. Don't make blunders. Don't say that we are going to inject triamcinolone acetonide from the skin. No, don't say that, okay. You have to evert the lid. You have to see palpebral conjunctiva, and then in from from conjunctiva you have to inject your steroid into the lesion okay then we have some surgical treatment as well when medical treatment or conservative conservative treatment fails then we go towards our surgical treatment 
in surgical treatment this is very important again avoid the lid avoid the eyelid see conjunctiva and these are eyelashes okay these are eyelashes because we have averted the lid so eyelashes are there so this is your lesion okay make a vertical incision I can make a vertical incision don't say a horizontal incision guys this is a vertical incision give a vertical incision and drain all of the contents present within the collision okay this is vertical incision and drainage surgery and you have to do it again from palpebral conjunctival site okay okay do not perform over the skin okay then after surgery we give some topical antibiotics and steroid drops okay what are the complications of collision collision can get fibrosed into hard nodule it can become calcified and become very hard nodule it can get infected obviously and separate and it can even burst to conjunctiva and it present as fleshy mass and this is known as this fleshy mass is known as meibomian cyst okay now we have some kind of mass effects as well okay you have lid your eyelid okay and this is like this when you have a mass lesion over the over your eyelid you are actually increasing the weight of your eyelid right and it will become very hard for the person to keep his or her eyes open right so they will be drooping there will be drooping of eyelid which is known as ptosis and the ptosis due to some kind of mass on the eyelid is known as mechanical ptosis this is very important again now astigmatism okay let me show you the picture okay this mass lesion this mass lesion will be compressing cornea on 12 o'clock position okay and when the cornea is compressed if i if i show you lateral view this is the eye and on the eyelid you have this is the eyelid okay and on the eyelid you have your mass and this is cornea this mass will be compressing on the 12 o'clock position again okay, I'm, I'm showing you the lateral view okay this mass will be compressing on the 12 o'clock position of the cornea and cornea will be compressed somewhat like this initially cornea is like this now it is compressed from here and um, see the curvature of cornea has been changed this condition will lead to astigmatism okay this condition will lead to astigmatism this is very important i hope you understood everything well because this is the favorite topic of examiner to ask and if you have any kind of queries you can ask me in comment section and uh, best of luck